Welcome to the Daily Word for the Season of Lent. Today's reading is from the book of Genesis, chapter 37, verses 25 to 36. Then they sat down to eat, and looking up, they saw a caravan of Ishmaelites coming from Gilead with their camels carrying gum, balm, and resin on their way to carry it down to Egypt. Then Judah said to his brothers, What profit is there if we kill our brother and conceal his blood? Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and not lay our hands on him, for he is our brother, our own flesh. And his brothers agreed. When some Midianite traders passed by, they drew Joseph up, lifting him out of the pit, and sold him to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they took Joseph to Egypt. When Reuben returned to the pit and saw that Joseph was not in the pit, he tore his clothes. He returned to his brothers and said, The boy is gone, and I, where can I turn? Then they took Joseph's robe, slaughtered a goat, and dipped the robe in the blood. They had the long robe with sleeves taken to their father. And they said, This we have found. See now whether it is your son's robe or not. He recognized it and said, It is my son's robe. A wild animal has devoured him. Joseph is without doubt torn to pieces. Then Jacob tore his garments and put sackcloth on his loins and mourned for his son for many days. All his sons and all his daughters sought to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted and said, No, I shall go down to Sheol to my son mourning. Thus his father bewailed him. Meanwhile, the Midianites had sold him in Egypt to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard. This is the word of the Lord. Love is not jealous. John of Damascus An 8th century monk and theologian described jealousy as dissatisfaction with the blessings of others. According to the theologian Aquinas, jealousy is feeling sad when you see someone happy. In church tradition, jealousy is considered one of the seven deadly sins and is one of the vices we have to try to overcome. Today's scripture shows us how jealousy can destroy the relationship between people and their relationship with God. When we look at the story of Joseph's betrayal by his brothers, we are reminded of the story of animosity between Jacob and his brother Esau, who did not get on well with each other, even when Jacob was a child. Isaac loved Esau and Rebekah loved Jacob, and the parents' favoritism caused a rift between the brothers, and the seeds of jealousy began to grow. According to the Bible, Jacob loved Joseph more than his other sons, and even made a robe for Joseph. Other translations translate the robe as a colourful garment. This robe and jealousy cause the half-brothers to hate Joseph even more. Because the brothers were not favoured by their father and because of the two dreams Joseph had, the brothers became even more jealous of Joseph, whom they considered to be beneath them and belittling them. They tried to cover up their wickedness with lies. Reuben and Judah with a little compassion advised their brothers not to kill Joseph and suggested that Joseph be thrown into a pit in the wilderness or sold to a merchant. We must not forget that Reuben was the eldest son of Jacob. Did he also have a say in how Joseph was treated? Could Reuben and Judah have gone one step further and prevented the other brothers from endangering their brother Joseph's life in this way? What drove them not to respond appropriately? We can see from the story that jealousy destroys trust between people. Jealousy blinds the brothers to the fact that they don't see Joseph as their brother. They only look at their father Jacob's love for Joseph and think that Joseph's position is higher and more favoured. 
Jealousy also caused the brothers to lose sight of Joseph's uniqueness and to fall into suspicion and bitterness, so that sin took over. Yet throughout the story, we see not only the weakness and ugliness of human nature, but also the mercy and salvation of God, who can turn corruption into miracles, enabling people to see their own sinfulness and find forgiveness in God's grace. Throughout Joseph's journey, God is with him and sustains him, enabling him to fulfill God's will in the midst of his suffering. Brothers and sisters, today's scripture is a great reminder to us that we must be careful not to fall into a situation of jealousy. If we have hatred, suspicion and bitterness in our hearts, we must rely on God to help us overcome them. Do not allow jealousy to give rise to other sins. God is a gracious God and he can help us to face the things that destroy our lives. Let us have a time of reflection. Take a moment to examine whether your life is being controlled by jealousy. If so, what will God tell us? Jealousy comes from comparison. Are you comparing yourself to others at this moment? How do you feel? Lent gives us space to examine our own life and emphasizes that we need to discipline our bodies and keep it under control. What bad habits do we need to discipline and for which we need God's grace and mercy. Let us pray. Father God, help us during Lent to examine our weak lives honestly and frankly, and not to fall into the temptation of substituting religious activities or various ministries for a sorrowful and contrite heart. Father, it pleases you that we stand before you in good faith without the threat and bondage of sin and help us to think carefully about the impact of jealousy in our lives and help us to face it and to overcome it so that we may grow in maturity in our personal lives. Amen.